Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I still have to figure out the title of this video so that, you know, I can rank for all the good terms, but, you know, if... And then I'm going to make this a, a special playlist so it'll be very easy to find because obviously over time I'm going to be, you know, adding more and more videos. So it's going to get very lost in the thing. So, and this I'll call it version one. And then I'll just, uh, <clears throat> and then I'll have it updated when, you know, I got a significant amount of, you know, updates to put in. But this should basically form the, now I got a fucking frog in my throat. <clears throat> so that's Satan trying to screw this up. <clears throat> and that's how I know this is the right video to make. So anyway. Uh, this will be version one, this video, because I just lost my train of thought. It's not helping that Discord's fucking... But and then... Version two, when, when there's more updates, like really significant ones, then I'll do a version two. Mostly, probably, modifications to, like, say, number three, right? You know, Tomb Forks will find new opportunities over time, because who knows? I mean, this, yeah, as you already know, cryptos, the cryptocurrency space evolves so quickly. Right, it's it's adapting and improving so rapidly that, you know, today, you know, yesterday it was the Dow's, then recently it's Titanos, and then now it's Tomb Forks. So I mean, who knows what will be next, right? But it'll be a good thing for us, right? Because that's where the money is. So, <clears throat> so, oh, shit. Let me think. There was something I really wanted to say. I want to get it out there. Fuck. Fucking Satan. Just give me a second here. So, Tomb Forks, Bridging. Well, I guess. Well, I, I, I guess I, I, I forget. You know, I, 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 I guess that's it. You know, we, uh, we lose some critically valuable fucking content, but I'll just go over the thing. All right, maybe I'll, maybe I'll come back to me. All right, so Greg Manry and overall big picture info updates. I'll make sure I'll have the links to all the important stuff because obviously for this video, I'm not going to link out to, you know, the projects because it's more of a like overall thing. Oh, now I remember what I wanted to say. <clears throat> yeah, so going forward, every new version of this video will pretty much be the same thing except number three, right? Because number three and number four. Like, in principle, everything will be the same, but I'll repeat everything again in future ver versions because, obviously, there'll be constantly new people coming in to the YouTube, right? And probably my stupid twatter here, right? And, you know, I'm going to be, uh, you know, because the, because the fundamental principles of, like, trading and investing is the exact same. Risk management, keep an eye out on new opportunities, pull profits. Right. In the case of cryptocurrency specifically, because there's so much volatility and risk, right, of all sorts of things, you know, for example, my snowy owl position could be worth like, I don't want to use the real numbers. Let me use some fake big numbers. Let's say I had, let's say yesterday it was 100,000. Now today it's 80,000. I'm still not going to mind because, you know, yeah, but that's still a pretty large swing, right? In the value of my snowy owl position, that's twenty thousand dollars, you know, quote unquote lost. It's not really a loss; it's just going up and down, right? And and, and then, but because if I pull profits every single day, you know, if yesterday I pull profits, that's like when snowy owl position was, you know, a hundred grand. So maybe I pull out like I don't know, for example, four thousand dollars. Then later tonight, because I usually wait till nighttime my time when the gas fees are at its lowest because everyone's asleep. Right? Maybe tonight, because Snowy Owl dropped to 80,000, hypothetically, these are not real numbers, by the way, these are just examples, because I'm not telling you my real numbers. I am not telling you my real numbers. Uh, you know, well, instead of 4,000 from yesterday, maybe today, even with the compounding and yield wolfing and, you know, all that other stuff, right? You know, I'm mean, showing partial here, but I don't show, right? But, you know, maybe today, you know, maybe I'll pull out $3,700, right? Or maybe I might pull out a little more, right? Because maybe the Joe token for Snowy Owl goes up, so the value kind of helps a little. And then, you know, I still do my calculation. I, you know, we'll go over the calculation about how I would, how I do it now. <clears throat> and it's an evolving process, right? Because, you know, I always got to keep improving things. It's not as hard as it sounds. 
And then, you know, maybe I'll pull a 4,200. But the point is, just keep pulling profit, right? Because, you know, because you actually win with time. So as long, well, not time wonderland, but actual time, right? You have to consistently keep pulling profits. And then when you get your initial money back, now you're playing with uh, house money, right? That's, you know, like the casinos, right? Zilla Finance, Snow Tomb, uh, yeah. Basically, those projects are actually house money for me right now, right? So because I was constantly pulling profits, because, again, at the time, I don't know what's going to happen. I just know shit's going to hit the fan, right? And then shit could always drop, and it did. So Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb are obviously still struggling. I mean, they're doing their best, and they're even going getting into the curve wars, but right now everyone's shitting on, you know, Tomb Forks as I do this video. But Zilla Finance, on the other hand, rebounded and is doing really, really well. So, you know, spreading out your risk and everything... I mean, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, but this is like the overall, like, you know, what I want to try to teach you guys and gals, right? This is the overall strategy, right? There's a reason why, even though I lost almost everything at, you know, from fucking Metaverse Pro, I'm able to battle back, right? You know, so I'm going to teach you how I'm battling back. So, all right. But, you know, if, if you don't follow these principles that I'm laying out here, then... Well, I mean, you're going to take your chances, right? But I sleep very well at night, right? Like, I, I still cannot believe people actually think that, you know, we're all going to get nuked, right? Russia's going to launch nukes. It's like, it, the level of disinformation, fear, and FUD is just so incredible that it's just frustrating. I mean, I'm supposed to get understand it because I know you guys can't help it and none of you are like Christian or whatever, right? You just believe whatever the world tells you. Right? That's not normal. Right? You're supposed to believe in God. Right? And usually the easiest way to do that is to be a Christian and then go through Jesus Christ and all that stuff. Right? That's how I'm able to remain calm. Yeah, I know a lot of stuff, but I didn't actually change until I actually gave up and cried out to Jesus Christ. Because I was like, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm constantly broke. I have no money and I'm just hungry. I was like, okay, y you win, God. Just, just help me with this crap. And just like magic in 2010, for some reason, I didn't know at the time, but I actually changed my mind completely completely about Bitcoin. And I finally got into it. And the rest is literally history. All right? My life has been incredible since then. All right? I still have my worry and stuff, but that's because, you know, actually, I have to actually add Jesse Lee Peterson to this stuff, too. Uh, yeah, because I actually want you guys to actually watch this. Watch this guy and go forgive your mom and dad. Because you might have heard me mention that a few times. The reason why you're afraid and angry... Oh, man. It's not even in the outline here. How could I forget this? I'll just do it this way. Just Lee Peterson. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, what? Why is there only 21 people watching this? Oh, he literally just... Oh, it's 8.42 a.m. Right, he just brought the stream. Okay, so let me just go get his thing here. All right, so... Oh, great. It's giving me the really shitty... Hold on, let me get the actual branded video. Jesse Lee Pearson videos. There we go. I want to get you the nice, nice little link over here, not this random letter shit. All right, there we go. I'm actually just going to link to his YouTube channel, because rather than just direct linking in, uh, go forgive your mom and dad and whatever, I'm going to actually just let God try to guide you guys here. Alright, because, you know, i got to try to take it easy for you. Alright, but all, like, you, it, you can live a life where you never have to worry about anything, you don't get scared, and you can sleep well at night, and then you're just not going to worry about this. And more importantly, not only will my information, especially on my Twitter and YouTube, will make a lot more sense... You'll also be able to see through all the fucking retarded bullshit that's going on right now. Like, the simple fact that I'm showing what's really going on in Ukraine, there's no engagement on Twitter, already just shows just how much fucking disinformation's in your head. And that's on purpose, right? So, for example, here's an example of an actual Ukrainian government official who's actually condemning the Ukraine military's tactics of using humans as human shields to bait the Russians into shooting civilians, 
All right. Luckily, Russia is not taking the bait so far. All right. Why the fuck does this have very little traction? All right. Because everyone's just thinking, oh, Russia bad, Russia bad. And yeah, Twitter is act. Twi Twitter hasn't really done anything for me because obviously I'm already kind of shadow banned, so they just ignore me. Right. But you know, they're act they're, they're actively banning anyone and deleting accounts and shit and posts that are actually showing what's going on in Ukraine. All right. Western media is fucking completely out of control. And that's, again, on purpose. All right? They're trying to fuck up the markets. All right? Let's see. Let's refresh. Yeah, they're fucking up the markets like they always do. And they're kind of fucking up crypto. I'm seeing a little bit of weird activity in crypto. It was up a little. Now it's actually down. Maybe I should actually buy a... Actually, I might actually go back and buy a put right now. Actually, just give me a second. Let's see. I really don't want to spend... Alright, you know what? I'm in the middle of something, so I'll just fucking spend $2.95 and buy a fucking put. Alright, so... I mean, unfortunately, I don't know if I sh Actually, yeah, I guess I could also show you Ledger... See, I can't do anything. I, I guess I'll have to show you Deribit, right? Because it's a site that I can access without an account. Alright, I bought a put. I want to sell my thing to... Oh, uh, just give me $700 in closed position. All right. There we go. So I'm protected for one week about this Russia fudge shit. I bought a put. So we're going to actually add Deribit as well. Deribit. I think it's called Deribit, right? Deribit.com. Uh, start trading. Eth options, Bitcoin options. This is for more advanced people, but if you're going to be doing Tomb Forks, I already assume you're actually a pretty advanced and smart person. So this is a problem because I really need to access. Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah, this is this. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. I mean, this website has changed so much that I don't know where to look for it. But basically, what I'm looking for are options. Right. Oh, here we go. So on the upper left corner, it says trade futures options. So you want options because I don't mess with futures. This thing is way too zoomed in. Hold on. Let me make this smaller for you guys. All right. So, oh, you're scared about Russia FUD. Oh, you want to protect your position a little bit. All right. So you buy, so you buy like some, oh, great. You're not going to let me show the whole thing. Wait, where? Oh, okay. It's down here. Oh, so you're scared, right? Oh, what can you do? Well, you buy a put option on Bitcoin because you think Bitcoin's going to go down. Because I just, because I just looked, I've been looking at this all morning since I woke up at like 6 a.m. I did my sign of the prayer. All right. Yeah. Okay. I need to profit off of this so that like, you know, it's like, oh, I can make a little bit of money and also protect myself specifically. All right. Because I actually made, I mean, I only had like $60 left in my Ledger X account because us Americans can't use Deribit. We have to use Ledger X, which is bought out by FTX, right? I, I turned $60 into like $80 overnight, and I was sleeping at the time. It was perfect because I bought the put options like a day thanks to Greg Manorino, right? I'll have a link to this as well, right? You know, he talks about like the, what's really going on overall, right? Central banks, Ukraine, Russia, FUD, and all that stuff. It's like, oh, okay. And I also see personally, yeah, bond yields are spiking, dollar index is up, market futures are down, everyone's scared. So what does that mean? What, if, what happens when everyone gets scared? Everything tanks. So how do you make money when everything tanks? You buy a fucking put option, right? A put down option, which means it makes more money the more the, the underlying security or commodity, in this case Bitcoin, goes down in value. So that's why there's manipulation because people deliberately, specifically central banks and evil rich people, deliberately buy a shit ton of put options and then dump the fucking thing underneath so they make money off of the options, right? Dump the options and then buy back in at the bottom after everyone's fudded and then force the price back up. They buy call options and so on and so forth, right? That's why the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin and really cryptocurrency for your cycle is no longer valid. All right, I know plan B is still whatever, but you have to understand these central bankers literally print all the money in the world so they can do whatever they want, right? And as long as they keep you, the masses and the people, ignorant of cryptocurrencies and tell you, yeah, crypto is volatile, crypto is high risk, just, just
just put your money in the bank account and then just get fucked by hyperinflation and zero percent interest in your savings account. It's it's the American way. It's the Indian way. It's the British way. It's all the same fucking bullshit. All right, you fucking lose. Globalists win. All right, it's not a right wing or even left wing shit anymore. It, it it it's evil people led by Satan versus I guess a few handful of people aligned with Jesus Christ and God. All right, it, that's how it's always been: good versus evil. So anyway, well, we'll I know I'm going all over the place, but you know we'll have some more structure. So ah shit, I might have to actually just redo this tweet. So. Because it, it's important. So let's see. Uh, options would probably fall under risk and money management strategy. Yeah, because we have to talk about... Man, we got a lot of shit to do. Okay. All right. So let's let me copy and paste this. Okay. So we're going to redo this. Greg Marino. Okay. Plus my Twitter. A roll big picture. Uh, okay, picture info updates. Risk, money, management. Okay, so I'm going to write 1.5 options plus uh, right, my Twitter. Options for, let's see, buying puts to protect against FUD events. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to write 1A. I'm aware that I'm out of money. Or out of... Well, let's hope I'm not out of money. But yeah, I'm out of space here. So let's do this. So I wrote my Twitter up here. Putting puts against this. Putting for... Uh, two... Great. Uh, Alright, we'll write 1B over here. Jesse Lee Peterson. Turn to others. Stop worrying so much. Okay, which means I gotta put you down fucking here. Okay, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Risk money management, and then we can go. Okay, so I think I think we've now covered everything. So I'll put this out there. I'll put my thing. I love this picture, don't you? Uh okay. Uh no. I want the bigger version of this, so I need to go over here. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right. So now that I've got me giving you the overall picture, let's get into the details. All right. And I'll have links to everything. And I also write this out because there's just too much information to keep in my head. Right. So I got to write out an outline so I can give this video some structure. I'm still going to be too lazy to do the auto, uh, YouTube auto chapter. So if you're actually watching this, I would actually appreciate it if one of you or some of you would create like a timeline that like, you know, and then just label it and then I'll just use that as my own guide or I'll, and I'll definitely pin your thing, right? And then just make it a little easier for me and everyone else to just, you know, put a timeline stamp to like whatever thing. On the other hand, I do need people to watch the whole thing because if you only do a part of this, uh, you're actually going to get fucked. So... <clears throat> <clears throat> Because this is a, an actual process that you have to do, all right? So if you shortcut the process or ignore some steps, uh, good luck. All right, so in addition to following my Twitter, because I mostly get my info from two sources. One I can talk to you about is this, right? Gregory Manorino, right? Perfectly safe to share his stuff. Gives you all the big picture stuff. The other one that I uh, read is completely banned on the internet, so I won't even mention or even hint at it. But the person is actually an American citizen. He's he's literally I think he's actually on a terrorist watch list, and all and his only crime was actually is basically just doing what Julian Assange did, right? And we know what happened to Julian Assange. You know his ass is being tortured in Great Britain or America or I don't know where the where the hell he's he is. I just know that like because he was exposing too much stuff. Too much evil stuff they decided to get rid of him all right so it's the same thing with uh this other guy i won't even mention all right people who follow me back then for political stuff you know exactly which website i'm talking about and that is why he is censored yeah this guy is more censored than nick fuentes or even alex jones okay there's only one person in the world that literally fits that bill so i'll leave it at that
Right. I mean, me just mentioning those two names I just mentioned, it already kind of puts this uh, video a little bit in a little trouble, but I think it should be fine. So, so that's where I get my info from. So, so you'll have to go to Greg for the overall picture, and then you'll know the truth about what's really going on with the Russia-Ukraine shit. It's all bullshit, right? They're fighting. Like, what's po happening to the civilians in Ukraine is real, unfortunately, right? They're, they're, they're suffering, but they're suffering because it's evil rich people. It's the military-industrial complex that you can see kind of here, this little picture here. And it's central banks, right? They're, they're, just, they're just killing innocent civilians so that they can make more money. That's basically what it is. So you got to stay ahead of the curve. All you got to do is just look at the mark, the real market drivers. It's not the stock markets. It's the U.S. Treasury yields. It's crude oil up here. And the dollar index here, the U.S. dollar, right? All right, at least for now. So, you know, and again, I'm just going over it really quickly. But basically, I can look at this now and I go, ah, fear trade, All right? Bond yields are going up because the markets are terrified. Right, because people are stupid and they believe everything that the meter tells them. Crude oil is surging, so that's usually a stock market positive. But right now, there's too much fear, so everyone's just dumping. Right, that's why I'm kind of like a little confused about what's going on with crypto, because it's not dumping as hard as it normally would in these situations. So that's why I'm keeping an eye out. Uh, and then of course, bond yields go down when there's a lot of fear in the market, right? So what's happening? So what this means is more U.S. dollars. So stock markets are already dumping, so they get cash, which is why the dollar index goes up, right? Because you got because there are more demand for dollars. It's like I don't want stocks, I want dollars. I want dollars. That's what people are doing. And I, why do I want dollars? Because I want to buy bonds. I want to buy bonds. All right, we're talking like hundreds of billions, maybe trillions of dollars every day, cycling all over the place. That's the thing I don't like is it doesn't show how much trade volume there is, but you'd be shocked. This is where the actual central banks, you know, and elite rich people like Goldman Sachs, JB, JP Morgan, your big global nationalist, inter, uh, super, super rich corporations. This is where they put their fucking money. So, and they're dumping all their money into these bond yields. And when you buy a shit ton of bonds, the yield goes down, right? Bonds are, I really hate bonds, but I now understand them because you have to, right? These are the market drivers. These are the market drivers. So next, Greg Marino also created a really good risk indicator. So basically, the higher this number is, and it's in the yellow range, you can see here, the higher it is, the greater the risk, right? Um, so basically, if you're actually worried about market a real crash where everything dies in the world, right? This is basically what he created, and it's actually based on the dollar index times the treasure ten-year treasury yield divided by one point sixty-one. So you know, but whatever. You just subscribe to Greg's thing here. He's got a YouTube channel, but I'm specifically linking to this because he's got a bunch of community strikes right now. So he's one strike away from being banned and deleted off of YouTube. Yeah, so this is where you'll find it. But so far, he's been behaving pretty well, and he knows it. So, you know, he just needs to wait out a couple more months. Okay. Or actually, maybe another six weeks or something. Okay. And then, of course, just follow my Twitter. I'll make sure I link to my own Twitter here, right? Because, again, I get my info from two sources. One, you can get yourself from Greg. I still highly recommend them. And the second one, you need to actually follow my Twitter, all right? Because I, I, can't, I can't even mention the other banned website, all right? Because then I'll get banned. So, all right. So, I think that takes care of number one. So number 1A, because I can't edit this, right? So I have to, you know, and for sake of time, I don't want to change it to 3, and then change the 3 to like a 5, and it's just annoying. So I just use letters. All right, so buying puts to protect against FUD events. Okay, so for most of you, because if, if you're outside the United States, you use Deribit.com. I, 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 I think you can do that, all right? They just can't, they just will not take Americans because of stupid uh, regulations. Ledger X. I'll make sure to do this. Uh, okay, so they completely changed their website. Oh, great. Uh, what is, what is 
the URL I have? app.ledgerx.com. Okay, so this is actually the one. Okay, well that doesn't help. But that is the real website. So, okay. Open account start.ledgerx. Nope, that's not what we want. So, okay. I want to make sure I get the real one, that's why. Yeah, Kevin Pham and Jesse Colombo are following this account. Okay. All right, so I guess I'll just have to link to this. But you just sign up here. Um, contract specs. Yeah, we don't really need that. All right, so if you're an American, you got to do... This is such an ugly URL. I'm just going to li link to it, of course. So derivs.ftx.us. So this is where you go buy and sell options, right? Uh, because I lost so much money, I can no longer sell options. Because I would actually sell options rather than doing the crazy buying an option thing, right? It's just a matter of just making money and making money. But anyway, uh, so first things first, let's say right now we got the Russia-Ukraine shit going on, right? First of all, you should not be scared, but let's say you're scared. So you're thinking, okay, things are going down. So you want to buy a put option. If I could just read their shitty website here. Where is the puts? Okay, so it says puts over here. Whoops. Now, this duration is March 1st. So that's literally tomorrow. So Deribit's actually better than Ledger X because Ledger X has shitty amounts of options. It's always like one week or one month or whatever. There are bits nice because you can pick any time frame you want. I personally would just do one week. That's what Greg Manorino himself recommended. If I could fucking click this thing. Right? Because you do need time for this thing to play out. Right? And then dump it before. Because you don't want to hold these to expiration. You'll always lose money. The idea is to buy it. Let the market momentum tank. Right? In this case, we're buying a put. So it tanks. And then you immediately sell it. Right, and then I don't want to go through the technical stuff because I don't even have access to the site, right? Because I'm an American, so I'm banned from using this site. But you can buy a put option. So, for example, right now, what's Bitcoin at? Thirty-eight grand, right? So let's say it's at thirty-eight grand because of FUD, right? Because everyone's afraid of Russia, Putin, nukes, or whatever, right? Maybe, maybe it'll tank to thirty-seven thousand. So. In your case, you could pick anything that you want, right? And you want to pick a very small amount of money because this is, first of all, it's high risk. But number two, it's really just there as an insurance policy. So it's like, pay, it's, your, it's literally paying insurance premiums. So you want to pay very little. So you could try to just figure out, because I assume all of you are advanced people. So you can figure out buy and sell. I don't want to get through, I don't want to like do, waste time like with small details but basically you just pick one of these things that you f would think is okay for you right the closer to the money uh, of Bitcoin the better right and then just buy like one or two right buy a very small percentage like 0.5 percent of your money or 0.1 percent very little right and then once you buy the put option immediately put a automate um, a limit sell order for higher than what you paid for so that you could go on about your business and then if the market tanks it should hopefully uh fulfill because the say bitcoin crashes at 36k and you bought like a 35k option for really dirt cheap right now well this thing is going to be in demand right because people because you know that's just how markets move your your limit sell order if you don't place it too high like just double your money right at most triple your money and then someone's going to automatically buy it, right? And that's only if the markets tank. If they do not tank after one week, right, because people realize what's really going on in Ukraine, then, you know, Bitcoin and crypto or whatever, you know, goes back up. And then you just simply sacrifice the little bit of money that you put into those puts. They expire worthless. So that's why you don't want to go crazy with these options. They're literally just there so that you buy a little bit of money. That's what I'm doing for now because I would rather just sell a put, right? But you can't do margin trades, at least on FTX. You have to do cash secured. And I recently had to change bank accounts, right? So I don't have it's it, it's just a fucking mess. So, but I would like for example, I would actually sell a put, right? If I could, I would sell a put at thirty thousand, right? I can't do this on Le, uh, on Ledger X. Get risk free money, and then if worst case scenario happens, Bitcoin crashes to thirty thousand. By March 4th of basically next week, 
then I basically buy Bitcoin at $30,000. I would love to own Bitcoin at $30,000. You know what a great discount is? But if it expires worthless, I keep all this premium. I, I, I keep the money for myself. So it's basically a very low risk way of doing it. So this is another alternative because buying put options is a very situational thing. I'm only doing it now because everyone's losing their fucking mind over the Russia shit, right? Under normal circumstances, you do not buy options, right? You know, when I first got in, I was buying options. Now I lost my ass. So now lesson learned. Greg Manorino even says, just sell options now. He, he says, don't buy options. So, yeah, and I would make a little bit of money here. And, and that'll be that. All right. So that's protecting yourself from any stupid FUD bullshit, right? Because... Right now, before it was the stupid coronavirus stuff, now that it's played out, right, the central banks need a new fear, right? So now the fear is Russia, Ukraine. That's going to that's gonna play itself out. I know China is going to take over Taiwan. So that's going to be another thing in the works. So in between, so and then at the same time, they're setting up an energy crisis right now. That's why crude oil is surging because Russia is a net exporter of a lot of oil. There's an energy crisis in Europe, especially in Germany. And now they want to do sanctions against Russia to, to fuck over their own population even more. Right? Here in America, like gasoline is like $5 to $6.50 per gallon. Right? It's really hitting Americans very hard. So now you're going to do a sanction against Russia and drive up energy prices even more, fucking everybody even more. Right? <clears throat> so, and that's on purpose. Right. And on top of that, all the big banks, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, they have call options on crude oil. So they need crude oil to spike spike upwards so they make more money. Everything's manipulated. Only fucking stupid people, ignorant people believe Yahoo Finance or Fox News or CNN. They're they're all the same. They just pretend to be different to fool you into thinking something's getting done when nothing's actually getting done. Right. It's the exact same thing here in America. Right. We have Democrats, which are left leaning, quote unquote, and we have Republicans who are, quote unquote, right leaning. It's they're all basic. They are the same. They just pretend to fight each other. All right. Elizabeth Warren's a perfect example of, uh, of this. She pretends to be a far left champion, but she takes donations. You can even go on. Uh, what is it? OpenSecrets.org. She gets tons of fucking donations from banks and shit, right? She does the bidding of the central bank. She just pretends to be a left-wing champion and then at the same time bitches about cryptocurrencies and tells everyone uh, and all of her voters to go fucking put money in the savings account. Why? You're not getting any interest, right? When I did political videos, I showed you what the Federal Reserve is actually doing. This is, this is where all the U.S. dollars are going. They're hyperinflating the supply, 5X, 6X. That's why there's inflation all throughout the world, right? And your central banks outside of America are doing the exact same shit as this. So, so that's why that's why we're you know buying stuff, right? And then they're suppressing cryptocurrencies because people are actually kind of figuring out what the scam is. So you know, but it, it's it'll be tough, but we can eventually beat them, right? Because in order to fuck us, they have to destroy themselves, the central bankers. So if we keep making money, we keep accumul auto-accumulating real cryptocurrencies, whatever it happens to be, right, legit projects, you know, then when the central bankers get rich, we, you and I, get rich, right? Greg Manorino gets rich, all right? And when they, t they tank the markets, we're going to know ahead of time, all right? That's why you got to follow my Twitter. That's why you got to follow my YouTube because I will be making videos about that, right? In fact, because the Russia FUD stuff, like, what was it, last week now, was so prevalent, I made a video about it. And I, it was like 1 a.m. I was about to go to bed. So, and I actually got a lot of views on that, too. So, yeah. So, I, I know what's going on. All right. So, I'll keep you up to date. Greg will keep you up to date. So, I'll make sure I have links to that. I went over by puts to protect, uh, protect against FUD events. All right. This is a very situational thing. You do not want to be making money off of buying puts. It is there for peace of mind. All right. <clears throat> so and, and again, just now I just bought a put option. All right. I only bought one and I paid like 285 and I'm put a sell or sell order on it and it's going to be like if I if I win, 
you know, I, I, I sell it for $7. So I make like, what, triple my profit or something? Okay, so Jesse Lee Peterson, Return of Fire. Okay, so uh, right now he's actually live, so I would normally watch him. But this guy is my Christian pastor. And don't worry, he's an actual real Christian. All the other stuff, like Bible thumpers and like all this fake bullshit that you hear. Yeah, he, he rails against that, right? And he's a really nice guy, funny guy. I'm just going to say that it's not normal for men to worry. And it's even not normal for women to worry, even though it's more acceptable. Because in the Bible, the whole Adam and Eve bullshit. So that's why women are like always like emotional and crazy. So you just listen to this guy. You'll, look, you'll understand why I say you got to go up to your mom and dad and apologize to them for hating them because they could not help themselves. And then when that happens, God will forgive you and you'll feel better. And then number two, you got to do the silent prayer and then you'll, and then God will change your heart and you'll stop worrying so much. You'll be able to see what's really going on. You'll be able to see the truth of everything, right? How do you think I'm able to figure all this stuff out? Normally I'm a very smart guy, but the reason is because I'm different. God has changed my heart and my thinking, therefore, so that I can see past the bullshit. Right? That's why you gotta listen to this guy. It, it, there's a lot... There, there's This video will go on for like 10 hours. So, that's why I'm just gonna link to this and you just watch it and then just let and then just let God guide you. That's what I'm gonna do for you guys. I'm just gonna slowly introduce this and then God will guide you and take over and then he'll be like, you know, and then you'll know what to do for your own thing. So, this is based on faith. Because that's what it is. Uh, so, because normally I would link out just to the forgive your parents part, because that's actually how you start out. But you know, I think it might actually be easier for a lot of you to just simply just listen to him. So, and it doesn't matter if you're, what your race is, or your culture, or even your country, right? It's all the same all over the place, right? You know, it doesn't matter if you're Indian or Mexican or American or a white dude from Europe or Russian or Chinese, Japanese dude from like Vietnam or China or Japan or whatever. It's all the same all over the place. It's all the same all over the place. So, yeah. And then you'll, and then once you can, once God allows you to see, then it'll, you know, unravel, you know, the tapestry of your life. So, and, and then you'll be able to live your life, you know, like the way you were supposed to, right? Because God has a plan for you. And that's really, and it's really a lot better than like, you know, trying to do things on your own. <clears throat> so, and it's a lot easier too. Because most churches, especially us Christian churches here in America at least, but probably everywhere in the world, really do not do a good job, right? Because everyone says, oh, I'm a Christian. Well, how come they're like poor and like upset and worried all the time, right? Have you ever wondered about that? Yeah, because they don't, they don't, they're, they're not being taught they know about God and Jesus Christ, but they don't actually know them, right? They, 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 you know, they have intellectual knowledge, but not spiritual knowledge, right? And apparently that might have been on purpose just to fuck people over too, but I don't know. It, it, there's just so much going on that I just can't investigate something like that yet. So that's Jesse Lee Peterson, So and then you'll stop worrying so much, all right? Because it really, it really is annoying that people honestly think we might die in a nuclear holocaust. That, that 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 is just so stupid. That is just so stupid. Like people just don't have a, don't have enough logic, right? Because that fear is screwing up your mind, and that's why you're losing money, or will lose money. Uh, and I don't want that for you. So, all right, so that's 1B. Now we're up to risk and money management strategy and then tomb forks. Okay, so now we can get into the technicals of what I'm currently doing. What's after this? Keeping open eyes to for new opportunities. All right, okay. So I have no idea how I want to do this. But so, so basically what I'm going to say is this one's a little hard because this thing changes all the time, but the first thing I got to look at, and I keep forgetting that partial finance is 0 0.5 pay, not 1 for stupid phantom. And not surprisingly, it's fucking crashing. So this is definitely an evolving strategy, right? But I really hope I'm recording this. Oh, thank God I am. Yeah, we're already at the 40-minute mark, and we're only halfway through. I mean, yeah, this is going to be a long video, so. Okay, so... 
First of all, two forks are high risk. You know every time these things just tank like crazy. I'm not even going to open these charts because all of you already know at this point. So what do you do? How would I play this? All right, so I'll tell you exactly what I do. The first thing I look at is the peg. I look at how far above the peg is. And the, hot, the further ahead a peg that a project is, the harder it's going to tank sooner or later. All right, based finance right now is tanking after it went super high, right? And now it's crashing towards peg. So is partial. So is, well, Snowy Owl just got a boost from Dow King. But it's also, but Snowy Owl is actually a, uni, uh, a special case. And I'll explain why in a second. Uh, even 2 ohm is, actually 2 ohm is still way below peg. So that's getting shitted on. Apex Finance, also below peg. Right? I'm picking the projects I recently covered. And I also put a little bit of money in. Comet's doing okay. Of course, the TVL is spurging out. Uh, but it's pretty close to peg. But it's doing okay. All right, here's an example of Draco Finance, right, doing really badly and it's far below peg. I've been told that the developers have not been seen and they've abandoned the project and sold all their tokens at the bottom. So that's so. This is a good example of why, no matter how good a project you think it is, right? Even Dow King said two and three ohm was really safe. It's still subject to just being raked up the ass, all right? So you gotta be very careful about how much money you put in. This is the money, what did I call it? This is the risk and money management strategy fundamentals. You got to put a little bit in each one, okay? Something that you'll be able to sleep very well at night if it goes to fucking shit and zero, which a lot of these projects are doing, right? I put it, in my case, it was 65 to $75. If I'm more confident in the project, I put a couple hundred bucks in, all right? And that's what I did with partial finance. I'm still okay with my position partial, right? Because I'm in, I think I actually, yeah, I'm in FTM partial. So I know when this thing goes below peg, right? Because it very well could. It's getting very close, right? Because it's supposed to be below 0 0.5 phantom. We're at 0 0.59 phantom, right? And the developers and community are not scammers and they believe in the project and they'll keep working hard, right? Because that's what happened with Draco. They just gave up. So now the project's going to zero, essentially, right? Well, for now, anyway. I mean, the website's still up, I guess. But the TVL locks here. I mean, this already this is social, but this already tells me that the people are fighting hard and partial, and they also are cross chain because they have PDO, right? Yeah, P dollar, whatever it is, right? They're still on Phantom, which I hate, but it is what it is. And I know that when this falls below peg, they always try to force up the base token. Right, which is why nowadays I personally do the base token liquidity pairs on Yield Wolf. Right? Yeah, and look at that, the shares the share liquidity pool is even less APR. So there's even more incentive to auto wolf or yield wolf partial phantom. Actually I kinda like that auto wolf. We'll just call it that. So you got yourself covered this way. So that when the so that way you make the community and what naturally happens work for you instead of against you. Right, and on top of that, that's how tomb forks are 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 designed. They're designed to prop up the price of the base token, so you so you have a lot less problems to deal with. And then when the base token goes up, the value of the share has to go up because then people go into the boardroom by buying up the shares to print more of the base token, and the cycle keeps repeating. All right. So just put a limited amount of money each project so that when it eventually does go to t shit, you know, you can decide if you want to pull out or what I personally do is if I had more money, because today in a few, in a few, in about less than three hours is in the white list for sphere finance. So that's why I'm putting out this video quickly, right? So I have plenty of time to you know get my whitelisted tokens, you know, you could decide if I were right personally. If I believed in the project and the devs and whatever, yeah, I would probably buy a little more. Now, the problem is Apex is a very low market share. So I would have to probably dig into the Discord and Twitter, right? So Grant will I'll look here. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, they've had this continue to pay restore its pay right now. You added the single stake to create by prior current APY is blah, 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 blah. This was yesterday. Okay. So the first thing I want to check is, is the Twitter still active? 
right? Now, I can't go in Discord here because I don't have it installed here, but I'll go in their Discord and I'll look to see, is the, mod, is the mod still there? Are the developers still there? That's the most important thing, right? If the developers are not there, then the project's definitely gonna die. So if I go on Twitter here for Draco, <clears throat> yeah, they haven't even tweeted in like five days. So Draco Finance is probably a dead project, right? So I lose I lose all my money in Draco, but I bet like $65. And some of it was even in profit too, because I was pulling profits and then I just stopped because it was going down too much. So, you know, if you went put all your money in Draco, well, now you just lost all your money. So that's why you got to spread out your risk and then just wait because time is supposed to be your ally not the enemy so the longer you wait the more time you give a project to stabilize and then you can reassess the situation is the community still active are the devs still there are they still coding shit are they fighting back like gordon ramsay always says right are you fighting back you have to fight back the project has to fight back it doesn't matter the results believe it or not i just want to see the fight back right Zilla Finance didn't give up. Snowy Owl didn't give up. Partial Finance is definitely not giving up, right? So therefore, I know the product's not going to go to zero, right? Draco gave up, so it's going to zero. I think Scarface might be giving up, so let's take a look here. Because I actually would like to buy more of this stuff. Plus, Scarface is a great movie. So the last time they tweeted was six hours ago. They have a pinned tweet from 23 hours ago. Uh, uh, look at that. Earn Phantom by staking Scar FTM. Now, I don't know if this will work. It's a test pool. If it's successful, we will deploy more earned stable pools at higher rewards. So, see, it's got so Scarface, right? Tony Montana, right? You know, you say, you know, my little friend, right? Yeah, he, he's fighting back, right? I don't know who's the devs of this, but they're fighting back. They're trying new shit. Very good sign. They're still tweeting. Very good sign. And I haven't even looked at their Discord, but this is good enough for me. All right. Also, I want to try to keep the video a little bit shorter for you guys. All right. But you would go into the Discord too, just to confirm. So this looks pretty good. I would definitely buy, add a little bit more to my position in Scarface, for example. Even though the APR is shitty, <coughs> is shittier. Let's see, did I check the Twitter for Apex? Oh yeah, I just did. Right. Uh, so they're moving a little slower and they don't tweet as much. So this would definitely warrant me to check out you know, their Discord and see what, what the hell's going on. But it, it is paying higher APR, the Apex FTM LP. So I would consider adding a little bit more to this too. In fact, I actually originally put in 100 to $125 into this, and my, that position is worth a little less than that, I think. Actually, it's probably lower because Phantom's probably lower too, right? Yeah. So, oh, there you go. See, See, this is market manipulation. All right, Bitcoin's almost pushing like 39k. What are the stock markets doing? The stock markets are still shit. So, and again, my put option that I just bought is losing value. But that's okay because I because I, I, I knew that I put very little because again, my put option is designed to protect me. Right, it's just insurance for a week. That's that's all that it is. I have no problem letting letting expire worthless. So I just lose like what. Two dollars and thirty cents. Oh, what did he do? You know, right? Okay, so I gotta keep that open. All right. So Scarface is looking good. Okay, so these are just examples, right? I I also don't have to look at Comet. Actually, maybe I should just for the sake of it. Excuse me. There's a pin tweet from two days ago. Okay. So I would definitely still check the Discord just in case, but I can already kind of tell just by from their TVL that this project is still going strong. And it's still actually above peg too. So you know, they're, they're, so I would check the Discord, check short, check to make sure that everything's hunky dory, right? The devs are there, or the mods are there, blah 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 blah, <clears throat> and then just keep farming. You know, I would add to my comp position too if I had spare money, right? I would add like another fifty to hundred bucks. Right, because for me, my critical point is somewhere around one thousand dollars. Because at one thousand dollars, even with the higher phantom fees, right, it seems like solid D or solid decks 
<clears throat> has kind of eased up on the freaking gas consumption. So I think enough people bitched at Andre Kanje Tech, which is good. All right. So <clears throat> and I know he blocked me because of that, but I'm happy to do my service for the to help the people, right? Especially helping myself help the people. So I gotta refill this water tank. So you know, you know, I can put, and then after that, I'm able to you know pull profits and whatever. All right. By the way, where is the pull profit part? Can you auto? Okay, so I left that for later. All right. <clears throat> so I kind of went over both tomb forks and risk money management strategy, because really your risk management is looking at the bigger picture of things. Right, because if you can't see the forest, and all you do is just focus on the trees in front of you, then you won't see like the kitty cat or the tiger or the giant grizzly bear that's sneaking up on you, getting ready to eat you for lunch. And I've been watching a lot of Attack on Titan, so oh yeah, or or Titan, right? You know, it, it, it's sneaking up on you, getting ready to eat you, and then you die, and and then none of the, none of the stuff is gonna matter for much longer, right? So I don't want that to happen to you. So. Because, remember, this is because I don't teach swing trading and I don't teach pump and dumping, all right? I, te I specifically like holding and buying, which entails a large amount of risk. That's what I do because I want cash flow, all right? That's always been my thing. So there's, uh, how do I mitigate those risks? That's what I'm teaching you now. Okay, because that's why you're here in Toon Forks, right? You're here for the DGEN high APY stuff. All right, so I went over risk and money management strategy and tomb forks, and then, yeah, and over time, because you know it's going to crash, then when it crashes, because you've been taking so much profit, you have stable coin dollars. That's another thing I forgot to mention. When you take profit, you can store it in the base token of the blockchain, I should say, so Phantom on Phantom, Avalanche on AVAX, etc. I also forgot to go over Snowy Owl. Uh, actually, well, I don't really need to check partials Twitter. I know they're doing the p dollar stuff yeah whatever yeah so this got boosted by dow king yesterday but i always stayed in it because it had like 40 to 100 percent apr right in fact when i did the video this thing was as high as like 150 percent apr but the devs are active it got it's got some kind of endorsement of some kind from forgiven the guy who created two of and three of i saw in the d bank voting so it was his address he has like 2.2 .2 million dollars uh, and more importantly, this thing is tied to Joe tokens. This thing is like the best. And I did a video on Joe staking too, right? I didn't do an update video because now it's called S Joe now. Now that Trader Joe is rolling out their modular staking, but this thing is basically a stable coin. It always basically stays at one dollar, four dollars every twenty-four hours. Trader Joe X Y Z buys it back, right? I don't think they burn it; they just buy it back. And like, not only is this a high-yield version of Joe staking, but it's like a very high-yield stable coin, right? And you just need snow to get it. That's why I always loved this shit. So, you know, and I'm on Yield Wolf, right? I didn't mention, took too, I didn't talk too much about this, but basically I'm assuming everyone's going to do Yield Wolf. Because all the projects I cover almost always have Yield Wolf, right? Or Auto Wolf. So... Basically, I don't care. Like, in fact, snow, cause I was in this shit when I was at, like, what, $95 a piece? You know what my position's worth? It's actually worth more than it was when it was at $95. And I've been pulling a shit ton of money from it. I'm not giving you the real numbers. So I am in deep, deep profit, even though snow has crashed, like, 80 90%. Right? And it's all thanks to Joe. Right? This is... Right, because Phantom can go down, AVAX goes down. That lowers your position. That lowers your dollar position a lot more. Joe, on the other hand, has just been like, "Well, I'm Joe. I was like, yeah, I'm just worth the. I'm just worth a dollar plus. Yeah, what, what do you want to do about it? Fight about it, huh? You know? And it's stable, right? It's stable. So, you know, it, it's great. And even when snow dumps, that means I get more snow tokens. So I win either way. I want more of this stuff, all right? So, you know, with that being said, it's still technically quite a far above pay because Snow is pegged one-to-one -to, -one to Joe, right? So, you know, that's fine, right? I mean, at this point, I mean, it's already getting hit and they already updated their roadmap. There's going to be, and that's on the Discord, right? Right, up there, the roadmap, the Layer 2 version of Snowy Owl is coming out soon because they have to because this, 
Because the generation rate of snowshares is one month. Well, actually, it's they they reduce the emissions, so it's actually like 1.5 months or something. But look at this. The circulating supply is reaching the total supply pretty quickly. So, but... Oh, that's the other thing, too. The dev is OX Snow. I know that name somewhere. I've seen it before. I just don't know where. But I remember he's a very powerful de developer. Like, he really knows his shit. I keep thinking he might have been from Congruent, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I just know that this is a very solid project. It's got Forgiven's endorsement of some kind. All right, because I don't think he just randomly votes up a Tomb Fork to help them on D-Bank. Maybe he does, but I'm assuming it was an endorsement, all right? And I know because it actually said forgiving, and D-Bank said he had $2.2 million in his wallet. I was like, holy shit. I think it's the real one. And then Dow King gave his endorsement because he called Piggy Finance really well, right? I didn't mention Piggy Finance in this video, but I held the P-Share uh, AVAX LP on Yield Wolf this whole time. So my position in, in Piggy is really, really good. And again, this is a safe project. So I actually put a lot of money. Yeah. When you finally identify a very solid project, usually Dow King identifies it, you do really, really well. Now, the problem is 2-ohm and 3-ohm is getting their ass raped, but I think that's an exception because Harry E and Phantom in general is a very predatory uh, blockchain. I've already mentioned this before, and it's like you already watched a few of my videos before, you know I just spurg, spurg out against them. It's really evil, right? And now 2-ohm and 3-ohm are trying to decouple themselves from Harry E, and that's what's happening. So, you know, they'll get over it. It'll go back up. I don't know when, right? And there's still 44.6 million TVL on 2 ohm alone. So, yeah. But it does suck. It does suck. But I'm still able to make a little bit of profit in it. So, you know, whatever. All right, let's keep going. Otherwise, we'll never leave this video. Uh, this one's a little harder, keeping an open mind. Because the way I scout for new opportunities, I just I just try to observe, right? Sometimes I'll go on Yield Wolf, right? I look at the farms, and I could just look over here. Yield Farms and Tomb Forts, right? You know. And there's even a Masonry's boardroom, so if I were interested, I could check that out. I don't do boardroom, right? Because obviously I need to stay liquid, right? I want to be able to pull profits whenever I want to. Uh, and then if something new ever get added, gets added, Yield Wolf will create a new category. Maybe it'll, it'll be called Advanced, I don't know, Advanced Titano Tomb Forks or something. I'm just making something up because Poseidon Black is the world for. I already did the video on Poseidon Black, but it's the world first attempt at creating a Tomb Fork connected to a Titano Fork. All right, so that's going to be pretty nutty, right, when that shit's ready. So maybe they'll add something like that here, and I would check that out, right? That's how one way... I got the Elite Discord, so that's not helpful to a lot of you. If this channel gets big enough, I'll think about creating a Discord for everyone. The thing is, I kind of want to start charging people, too, for, like, you know, some kind of mastermind Discord as well. Because I don't want just any random people coming in, right? Because I don't want that screwing me up. On the other hand, you know, if I have a public Discord, you know, it's like, how do I kind of... You know, like, there's got to be a, a an elite group. Otherwise, we can't, like, you know, think of, like, really good projects. And then and then if we can't do that, we can't pass that on to you. Because we do, because I do see a lot of rug pulls in the elite Discord. That's why I don't do Genesis pulls. You know, right? I just let it play itself out, and then I just wait a couple of weeks. So it's like, you know, some will rug, and some will make it. And then that's when I, that's when I look at the ones that make it. Uh, you could check YouTube and just do random searches and then try it that way. But for me personally, I'm pretty happy with what I got, right? And then we got the good Titano forks coming out, Eris and Sphere Finance. So I don't know. There's not really much I could say about number four, except just keep an open mind, just keep an eye out, right? And then just be patient. Like if something is that good, everybody will hear about it, including you and me, and everyone's going to copy it, right? Because... The nice thing about crypto is it's open source. Everybody can look at the contract code. Everyone can look at the blockchain code, blah, blah, blah. So it's very easy to copy and paste. All right. And then you just add your little twist to it if you're a computer programmer. All right. Let's try to wrap up this video. So there's not really much, believe it or not, to number five. Accumulate, auto compound, take profit. There's a reason why I only do Yield Wolf now. All right. So let's say, let's take Phantom Partial, for example. I got to switch to this shit. Hold on, just give me a second. 
I switched to Phantom. I forgot that this clown takes forever to load for us. I really need the interface so I can tell you what I do. Oh, there we go. So for example, so this is what I do. Every night, this is what I personally do. Every night I look at the daily APR. This thing fluctuates a lot. And, I'm, and I think what I'm about to tell you is an oak is a pretty decent way to do it. So let's say my let's say after 24 hours my staked FTM partial LP tokens this number here it says zero but normally this is where your actual tokens are in Yield Wolf let's say, just say it says a hundred right, let's keep the math simple so I would take the daily APR at that moment so 0.1324 right I would use my computer calculator but because I'm doing this video I have to show you so if I go let's go over here. Actually, I'll make sure I have a link to this as well. Oh, God. All right, let's just move this over here. So look at the daily APR later tonight and say, okay, oh, it just changed. So now it'll be like, okay, so two, one, two, nine, six. So every day I am making one, two, nine, six percent. I multiply this by my hypothetical hundred tokens that you see here. So let's say I had 100 LP tokens of partial FT, FTM, and the number I have is I made approximately 12.96 tokens today in 24 hours. Now, that's not very accurate because this number goes up and down like crazy. Usually it actually goes up and then slowly goes down, so that's that's why this isn't too bad. If you're really hardcore, you would, see, you would actually record everything. I don't do that because I have, I'm just in too many projects. So... So I have one, two, nine, six tokens. So what does that mean? So I take this number, 1296, I multiply it by 33% because I always recommend to everyone, pull out 33%, compound the rest. So in this case, I would get 4.2768. This number is what I would do. I put, I put this in here and I would draw that. So I pull 33% out in my profits. Can I have the history? No, not anymore. And then the tokens I did not sell, I just leave it in. I, leave, I just leave it in Yield Wolf, and that is what compounds. And then normally you would have something over here that shows you a list of all your transactions. I would make sure to take this number and I compare it to what I did yesterday. Right? When you have 30 projects, you're not going to remember anything. So if you notice that this number is a lot lower, wait, let me think. So they, let's say yesterday you pulled out 10 tokens, right? And then you notice this is now, and then today, 24 hours later, you're now pulling out a, less, a lot less tokens. So yesterday you pulled out 10, today you're pulling out 4.2768. So that would probably mean that Partial or Phantom just had some kind of crash. And then as long as the gas fees aren't too crazy, you can just pull this out and pull out, I don't know what this is worth. I think this is worth like, what, $15, $20 or whatever. Oh, God. I was afraid. I was afraid. Well, I'm not afraid, but it's like, oh, should I look at my partial, my real partial position on Yield Wolf? <laughs> it's going to be a lot less, right? Then you'll be like, yeah, okay, I'll pull out this as profits, whatever, right? But let's say, but let's say yesterday you pulled out one coin, and then today you're pulling out 4.2768. You might want to double check to make sure you're not pulling out too much profit, right? And then screwing up your compounding. So in that case, you just have to like eyeball it or go by memory and see what did you have 24 hours ago, your LP tokens, and make sure you're not pulling out all of your profit for the 24 hours. Because remember, this number is fluctuating all the time. So you kind of have to just compare it to what you did yesterday and then try to keep these numbers like not crazy because the name of the game is to keep accumulating crypto. Right? You want to keep accumulating these tokens. In my case, for two ohm, I'm in two shares. I want to keep accumulating more and more two shares. So, you know, you, if you sell too much, you're not compounding. You're actually shooting yourself in the foot. You know, you'll get a little bit of more money, but that's going to be by accident, not, not on purpose, right? Because now that we know that the markets are being hyper manipulated, including cryptocurrencies, right? Greg Manorino has all but has, has actually confirmed it, right? Because he's got inside sources. I gotta sell. I got. I gotta sell my put option. Holy shit! Okay, hold on. Let me sell my put option. All right. So I lose like a dollar eighty-five. Whatever. 
yeah, let's dump this now. Okay, perfect. I'm out on my put option. See, that's why you don't put that much into a put option because I just technically lost money, but I don't care. So I just get back whatever. Okay, so whatever's happening. Okay, so hold on. This is real time. I got to check this real quick. All right, so stock markets are tanking. Everything else is going up, including cryptos. Perfect. All right, so let the fucking central banks do whatever the fuck they're doing. All right, see, we're we're covered in every single position. So I don't know why is why are tomb forks not going up then? Let me see. Apex is going up. Scarface shares are slowly going up. Well, I know Draco was dead project. Piggy is going up. Okay, so it's actually going up. Okay, even Caesar is going up. Someone's even buying a Caniverse World, even though the buy and sell is not functional. All right, so so that's basically all I could say about taking profits. I personally take thirty three percent, but again, there's a caveat. You can't. Rem I can't remember anything. So because there's just too much info, and I gotta concentrate on you know market analysis and all that, and trying to relax and enjoy you know whatever it is I do. All right. So just make sure you compare what your tokens that you're about to pull out to yesterday. Make sure it doesn't get too crazy. When it gets too crazy, then you can adjust accordingly. Or you could just not care and just do it anyway. But, you know, this is your life we're talking about. This is your money. So you probably want to take it seriously, you know. Otherwise, you're going to go, you're going to be like living with mom and dad again. And that, that, that's just not fun. <clears throat> All right, so that's the uh, pull profit thing. It's actually very simple, not much to do. And we can finally end this crazy long video. Oh, it's actually an hour and seven minutes, so that's not too bad. Right, so that means I could sneak in a little bit of uh, Firestone Idol RPG, make sure I, you know, get these uh, quests going. Uh, claim, claim, claim that, claim that real quick. Three hours, perfecto. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Bridging, shifting money, staying anonymous. So the first rule of staying anonymous is don't fucking tell anybody your wallet address. Right? In my case, this wallet address I'm using is obviously for the public because obviously I got to do these videos, but I still don't really show the thing. And in fact, the donation address is, is this public meta meta thing. <clears throat> so let's say let's say let's just say one of you generous people donates me a million dollars. That's not going to happen. Let's say it donates me a million dollars. Well, I'm also going to pull that shit, right? So you have a couple of options. You can use Tornado Cash, right? Which would mean I would have to bridge money over to Ethereum and then do this. This is a really extreme example, but obviously you gave me a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll figure out a way to funnel myself like 10% of an Ethereum and pay, pay whatever gas fee. But for most uh, normal things, right don't tell anyone your address and then let's say people do see your address what do you do all right you can go on any centralized exchange that is not regulated but my personal favorite are these guys hotbit.io very solid they've been around forever they've endured every single kind of hack hack no one that uh, to my knowledge they never lost anyone's money right they get a lot of grief but they always respond very quickly to me, you know, just don't like be an asshole to the customer support. And, they, and there's a great exchange. Uh, so I'm actually going to make sure I leave my affiliate link for hot, hot bit. So, so let's say someone sees you, right? You create an account here, make sure you do it 24 hours ahead of time. Cause you can't withdraw after 24 hours when you first create an account, it's like some safety feature to prevent scamming. Right, create two-factor authentication. Right, you always want that for extra security, and then they don't ask for KYC. There's probably other Singapore or Chinese-style crypto exchanges. Contrary to what the West tells you, crypto exchanges are still valid in China. Right, I think they just banned Chinese citizens from using it, which isn't even that big of a deal because they're smart enough to use use a private VPN, and then that's that. Right, because remember, none of these Chinese uh, companies or something Asians, right, don't even ask for KYC as long as you don't live in that country. So, and uh, you know, you can check out the withdrawal fee. So send your shit here, then you go to the exchange. So let's say, for example, one of you nice people send me a million dollars worth of Binance coin on the Binance Smart Chain. I would send it to my Hotbit account here, right? 
And then I would sell my Binance, my BNB, for this. So here it is. I dump it all on the open market. Let's say I get like almost a million dollars, right? I mean, the, the, I mean, there's a lot. I, mean, I have to do it pretty slowly because a million is a lot, right? And then I would get Tether in return. And then with, with my all that Tether, let's say I sell everything. Well, what do I want to do? Well, gee, I kind of want to buy more projects on AVAX. So I would go buy some AVAX, right? Or, you know, if I really felt like I had to hide my money, I would buy something completely different from the Ethereum blockchain. So my personal favorite is Dogcoin. So I'd take my Tether, I would buy like a million dollars of the Dogcoin, and then I would do whatever with it. How the fuck, are you gonna, how the fuck is anyone going to find you? <laughs> they can't. So that's that, that's how you would do it. That's how you would do it. And you don't have to you don't have to mess with tornado cash unless you really want to. And then I think if you wait a while, like let's say a couple hours before you withdraw, if you did like let's say I did do AVAX, right? Let's say I bought AVAX, then I would wait maybe a little bit of time. Well actually it doesn't matter because my address is public. So I have to create a brand new address and then use that, right? Because MetaMask, you could just create a brand new you can't see it, but MetaMask, you just create a new account, a new address, and then send it to the new address. Then, then nobody will ever find you, <laughs> right? Like, well, what the fuck are they going to do? So that's how you stay anonymous, right? That's a quick and dirty of it, right? Or use Tornado Cash if you really need to. Uh, I don't ha I'm don't. i not on Ethereum yet, so but I will have to because I want to pull out money from Congruent someday, if ever. So I got to send myself Ethereum. Uh, let's see, I did talk about shifting money and then bridging. So we'll talk about bridging. I'll leave the links for bridging as well. So I use two. Uh, if I'm in a hurry, I use Synapse Bridge, right? And they have pretty much most of the major ones. Uh, Ethereum, Avalanche, they got these other clowns. You got Binance Smart Chain, Phantom, Polygon, right? I used Polygon for the first time last night, right? Because of the Sphere Finance whitelist sale is in two hours and 15 minutes. So you gotta check to make sure you know your the the coin because they only do USDC and US Tether, which I don't like because that's centralized by the American government and highly regulated and therefore trackable. Uh, but if possible, hmm. excuse me. If possible, I do on Binance Smart Chain they use BUSD, but. Where is, oh, I keep clicking the wrong thing. On Avalanche, they use DAI. So I use DAI and then I convert it to, let's say I want to go on Phantom because I want to buy some more Tomb Forks on Phantom. In this case, I have no choice but to do USDC and USDT, right? But let's say I was in a hurry. I put in like, you know, $2,000. I have to buy it right now. So you got to approve it. Then you got to, you know, Swap it, so it's two steps, and then it tells you the fees. So this isn't too bad. Synapse is charging today two dollars. It used to be six dollars, but now it's two dollars. Right, so I, that means it changes. So you get positive. So in this case, this would be pretty decent. You get a positive slippage, and you receive zero point four phantom. So you know you lose two dollars USD, but you get this little extra as a bonus. And these guys are very fast. Like if you're in a hurry, you use these guys. But sometimes their fees are pretty uh, are pretty uh, nutty. And again, there's not a lot of options for changing, and I don't like using Tether and Circle because these things are trackable, right? If you're not cheating your government out of their taxes, because I don't cheat, right? I pay them whatever I owe them, right? And I, I don't even have to do that, but I choose to do it because I don't want to piss off the IRS. I want them to like me. I don't want them to hate me. So I just, so I just give them free money, essentially. You know, it's basically like paying the mafia because that's what it is right so don't cheat the tax authority but if you're not cheating them and you're not committing any crimes then why the fuck do they need to know what you're doing your crypto and your property it's yours nobody needs to fucking know right don't tell me don't don't tell your friends well, unless you trust them right or you trust me but don't tell nobody all right it's not it's none of anyone's business what you got all right so if you're not in a hurry but you know you but this is still pretty fast I prefer nowadays xpollinate.io. They have, you know, pretty much a couple extra blockchains. Geonosis from Star Wars, I guess, with an owl. 
right? But they have a lot more options, right? They got all the good coins. You can even do a couple extra clown big coins, but they specifically have this, die. I love die stable coin. Decentralized, there's tons of it out there. It's perfect, Not you can't track it. And then you can also see like the liquidity of how much is available. So for example, I'm doing Binance Smart Chain to Avalanche, die to die, E, and it says 117,460 point, is available. So I always do die, right? So if I go on Polygon, it's the same thing. It's great, right? And they have up to 295.5K, right? This is what I did yesterday. I went from Avalanche and Phantom, because that's where all the my Tomb Fort and money is, essentially. And I convert everything to die, and I send it to Polygon as die. And then I took my die in Polygon, and I converted it into, you know, a little bit of Polygon for gas fees and the rest into MAI, M-A-I, right? Because that's the uh, liquidity pool for Sphere Finance, right? It's, it's great. So I love these guys. Then you got to connect your, uh, I got to connect my wallet. Give me a second. Blah, 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 blah. Switch to Binance Smart Chain. Okay. All right, so you would put in like a hundred bucks, right? Then it finds our route. It's giving me an error because obviously there's nothing in this wallet, but it would say approve. Then you got to approve it. Then you swap it. And then it comes up with a little thing. It gives you an estimate of the fees or whatever's. Uh, in fact, it's kind of weird that I'm actually gaining a dollar by doing this. Minus 94 cents. So I gained a dollar and six cents. So I gained 12 cents profit off of this i wouldn't go too crazy with this but who knows maybe there's another thing but i mean i'm getting slightly less die here from a thousand so i don't know if you want to try to arbitrage this uh, but with that being said uh da, 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 da. oh yeah so a new thing will show up it, will, it looks a little complicated but don't worry just keep the window open it'll keep you know bridging and then on the right hand side usually it'll say sign in to claim funds or sign to claim funds then you claim your funds you have up to three days to claim it. Uh, if there's a high amount of network congestion, you'll have to actually click the transaction ID that this X pollinate gives you. And then you're going to have to actually speed up the transaction yourself. You can choose to do that and pay a gas fee to hurry it up. I've actually done that before, especially when Phantom was lagging like crazy with all the stupid solid D, you know, transactions and the stupid bots they have fucking up the entire network so i actually paid like you know like two cents to speed up my sign and just get my money so so yeah so this is what i primarily use nowadays x pollinate if you're a rush you use synapse bridge right synapse protocol.com uh, and unfortunately again you're going to have to use you know this so let me see because i could have sworn that this also had die in very limited cases. Yeah, Avalanche has die on Synapse Protocol, so that's another reason why I really like a uh, Synapse Protocol for Avalanche because they have die here. It actually is die e, but it just says die, so it should show up. And then you just put, and then you do whatever. Yeah, see, Polygon also has die too, so I actually got very lucky last night because otherwise I would have had to have selected this. Right, and then take an, and then pay an even greater. Okay, so right now the fee is still two dollars. Oh yeah, because it's Polygon, so the gas fees are very cheap and reasonable. It's a little laggy that I've noticed, but aside from that, I mean they have eight thousand pending transactions last night, so it's a very popular blockchain. I, I just wish more Tomb Forks would go on there. Who knows? Maybe that'll happen. I mean, that might actually happen because now that Sphere Finance got the Jesse Echo backing and the Obsidian Council, you know, it becomes the next Titanal, you know. Uh, yeah, there'll be more money in Blood Polygon and then more people will build there, hopefully. So, yeah, so if I had no choice, I would do something like this if Die did not exist on Polygon. It just so happens that God was watching out for me. And, yeah, I was totally okay with this. And then, you know, blah, 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 you switch. All right, I want to play my games. I want to catch up on the Greg Manorino stuff because he's already got a video out. It's already 10 o'clock. I ate too much food the past couple of days. You know, I'm a little hungry. So, 
Okay, all right, I gotta keep all these windows open. Yeah, all right, so we, we, we covered a lot. I think in the next version two, I'm gonna tell people to watch this version and then I'm just gonna write, here are the updates for version two because I don't have to go through this whole shit again. <laughs> I didn't realize it would take such a long video, but I kind of have to because I gave you pretty much the blueprint for success. You know, it's up to you guys if you want to follow it. And then, you know, I obviously tweet a lot. I do YouTube videos. So you always know what the updates are and then you just crank out money, right? And again, but I think, again, the most important, the two most important thing is, one, go find Jesse Lee Peterson so you can stop, so you can return to God and then stop worrying all the time, right? Because if you're full of fear, you, you're not going to make it eventually. And number two is risk and money management strategy, right? I should be doing, I should be clocking in five to $10,000 a day right now, even with all the FUD. But because I lost almost all my money in fucking Metaverse Pro and I still have to wait on that stupid shit to go back up, I got to build back from fucking almost nothing. Right? I'm doing a really good job, but it would have been so much easier if I could have put in like $5,000 instead of my shitty $65 in all these fucking projects, right? And then I was never worried about money again. So, you know, even I make big mistakes and I'm not going to make that same mistake again, ever again. Right. You know, it's like, you know, I don't like it when people shove objects up my ass. All right. Under any circumstances. In this case, it was really bad. <laughs> so I don't know how long it's going to take me to recover. I know I will. So whatever, you know, God will tell me what to do and I'll just do it and then whatever. Oh, yeah. you know, I'm just going to leave this as the thumbnail because I don't really care. So thanks for watching. I'm honestly tired, right? Because I did way more work than I feel like I would normally do. So I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to take probably tomorrow off because I didn't expect this to be so whatever. Plus, I probably want to do other things too. So I'll see you. I think today's Monday, right? Yeah, it probably is Monday. So I don't know. I'll, put, I'll pump something out on Wednesday. You know, I got, you know, now that my content queue is starting to... Clear up a little bit. Let's see. I don't care about alpha nodes, but I might do it. Charge DeFi and cover it, that is. Oh, yeah, that's another, that's another great finance. I, and then I got Eagle Fi, which is new. But it's still very new, so I'm still waiting on the rug pull risk on that. And then I have Savannah Finance. We'll definitely do Savannah Finance next, I think. Because that is very safe. So I can do that in two days for sure. And then I'll see whatever project. And then I, I don't know. I'm not really being in the nodes. But you know, I'll, I'll probably do alpha nodes next on Wednesday. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Like, we'll see. Thanks for watching. You probably have to watch this video again because we went over a lot of stuff. So I'll have all the links, right? So make sure you follow everything and blah, 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 blah. Thanks for watching. See you Wednesday unless something really crazy happens between then. So, yeah, like, subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. And don't hoard this to yourself. Don't be an asshole. Share the video, okay? Because the more people that we can get into crypto, the better for all of us, right? Don't let these central bank fuckers get away with this, all right? They're getting rich. You and I are going to get rich too, all right? You know, we're not going to be like those poor people in Ukraine where they're literally being sacrificed for profit. That's all that it is, and it's so evil. It's so screwed up. But if Ukrainians were actually, like, had a lot of money, then they could easily fight back against, you know, what's happening right now. But they can't, and that's on purpose. Because that's, because what's happening is exactly what the globalists and central banks want. So, you know. What can you do, right? What can you do? So, anyway, see you uh, Wednesday, most likely. Thanks.